Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If you are new here, then welcome. And I hope you will consider being part of the Brandy Janae family. In order for you to do so, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and be sure to like this video if you like the content. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another DIY craft video for the holidays. So I have two projects for you today. This first one I'm going to start with is made with this little cube, crafter's cube from the Dollar Tree. Most of the items that I will be using today came from Dollar Tree. There are a couple of them that I did find at other stores, but I really like them, so I'll pick them up anyway. But anyway, for this project, you will need a wooden craft cube, you will need some white chalk paint. This one comes from Folk Art, which isn't really my favorite chalk paint, but chalk paint is getting kind of hard to find right now. So this one is Folk Art. I prefer the Waverly kind, but this works. I also have a paintbrush, one of the little paint trays. I know for sure they sell these at Dollar Tree. And then I have a couple Sharpies. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, and then I couldn't find my sanding paper, but I do have this sanding block, which I'll be using to distress some of the paint later. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and paint my cube white. And then I'm gonna sit this to the side and let it dry. And while it's drying, I will start working on project number two. So I'm just gonna lightly paint it white. It doesn't really have to be extra perfect. It just kind of depends on your personal preference. We are going to sand over it at the end. So it'll give you some of that wood popping through the bottom. So I'm going to give mine, however, a full or as close to full coverage as possible because I would prefer to only paint this once instead of doing two coats. So now that that is painted, like I said, I'm going to just push that over to the side for now, let it dry, and then start working on my second project. So for the second project, I'm going to be making a cute little snowman wreath. Oh, and I'm sorry, I don't think I mentioned. First of all, I apologize for the shakiness of this camera. I have it plugged in right now, my phone plugged in, and I keep bumping into the cord, so my bad. But I am going to be making the cube is going to be a little snowman um, like desktop thing. And then I will be making a snowman wreath to go along with it. So for the wreath, I decided to change it up a little bit. Instead of doing a traditional circle wreath, I'm going to do a square wreath. Or at least I'm going to attempt to do a square wreath. We will see. Um, so this came from Dollar Tree. It's one of the wreath forms from Dollar Tree. And then I also found this cute little 
snowman pick at Dollar Tree. And again, um, I am going to, I like the snowman, so that's why I chose to use this. And then I also have some of the garland from Dollar Tree. I have three rolls. I'm not really sure if I will need all three, but I pulled three out just in case. And these are 15 feet on each roll of garland. And then I will also be attaching these two little picks. Now they do have some picks at Dollar Tree. However, I found these at Dollar General and I thought they were super cute. So I went ahead and picked them up. I really like the little present on there. So I will probably be adding these to there, but we'll see. I may change my mind at the end. But anyway, these came from Dollar General. And as you can see, they were both a dollar. So it was still a really good deal. And then last but not least, I have to stick with my buffalo plaid. And I'm going to add one of these cute little buffalo plaid bows. So the first thing I'm going to do is wrap the wreath. One eternity later. Woo child, that was more than a notion. Look here, get you a round wreath. Um, because I thought you know I was gonna be cool and be different with this square wreath wreath. But I'm tired. Got my hands all ashy. Oh my goodness. Scratches all up my arms. Get you a circle wreath, friends. This square is cute. It's definitely different. I've never had a square wreath before. But as you saw, 20 hours of wrapping. Mm, mm, mm. If you're really smart, you'll go find you a wreath that's already wrapped and all you have to do is add just cute little stuff to it. Anyway, one of the things that I forgot to grab was this wire garland. And this is what I'm gonna use to tie everything on so it just kind of blends in with the wreath and not, you know, doesn't stand out like crazy. So then I'm going to take my snowman he does not need this little tie I don't need the string part not even really sure why they put that little string up there um, and he also well that'll come off now I gotta try to wiggle oh all right well it's off mostly mm, let's see if this little tool will move this out of the way See if this little tool will get all this off. I don't know why I didn't think about using this the first time. All right, yeah. So it doesn't have to be perfect because you won't really see it. I just didn't want it to be too bulky anywhere. I'm gonna try real hard not to cut my hands. If you know me, then you know I am unbelievably clumsy, which is interesting since I love to craft and build. Okay, so that's good enough for that. So here is just the snowman by himself. And I am going to take him, yes, and I want him to hang. So, If he once had a tie, I'm going to feed, try to feed, come on, just need a little bit, actually, that's probably good right there, yeah, that'll work. So I just put a little bit through the back, enough to kind of keep it stable here, and then I'm going to just wrap it here so that it stays in place and so it'll kind of hang but when it's on my door obviously 
it won't hang as much. It won't dangle rather as much as it is now. And then my little tie, I thought about gluing it on, but then I decided not to because when I go to store this, I may go ahead and kind of take it apart. Um, so I'm gonna just leave the tie here and I'll actually use the string that's on there. So there's, you know, in the wreath, there was like the uh, two or three different layers. So I'm gonna attach it to this top layer. And I'm just gonna take the, flip this over. Take the twist tie here and just kind of spin it around and around and around. Again, it doesn't have to be too much because you won't see it. So now, although his head is moving, when it's standing up, it'll look like the bow tie is attached to him. And then I'm going to just take my picks, remove the tags, and I honestly just like to kind of slide them in. And they just slide in. Put one over there. it's my business I may even find another one to add to the top but we'll see but anyway for right now I think this is so cute um, and I am going to look forward to hanging this on my door for this holiday season all right, so my other project should be dry by now, so I'm going to take this out of the way. The snowman is dry enough. So I'm just going to take this and see. No, that's not, there we go. It's working a little bit. If you don't want to go through this phase, because honestly, this isn't really working out the way that I want it to take a little I'm gonna use some of this um, antique wax just a teeny tiny bit and I'm just gonna Kind of dry brush a little. Got a little heavy on that one side, so I probably will not use it for the face anyway. And then do a little bit on the top. So yeah, so. You can keep trying to sand it if you like, or <laughs> you can just do a quick dry brush over it. Um, as you saw, I put most of the paint here on this paper, and I even left the white that was already on there just so that it didn't get too dark. If you prefer to use like a gray or um, you know blue or whatever other color, that also works too. Be careful because as you can see, I got a little bit dark on this side, but that's okay because I'll just make that um, the back side. And so then here, because it was already dry, it's dry enough. So what I'm going to do is simply color on a little face.
and it's not perfect but it's so cute so it's just gonna sit on my table and it'll be super duper cute i might even see if i can find a cute little hat to go on top i know sometimes dollar tree has the little um toy doll things with hats and clothes so i'm gonna see if i can find a little hat to go on top but i just think he's so cute and he'll look really cute on the table with my other winter items obviously you can take this and if you want to you can paint different pictures on each side which is the cool thing about having this block but i really just like the one little face on there and i think he's super precious and he'll go really cute with the snowman so you have like your big snowman and your little guy so anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope this inspires you to go out and do a little crafting we don't always have to buy all of the things sometimes it's fun to just make your own so i hope this kind of motivates you to get out there and try some different projects if you like it do not forget to give it a thumbs up also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you have not already done so thank you so much for watching and as always have a good day friends goodbye